Hello YouTube, how's it going? This is The Crossover and I'm back with another video. Today is going to be another one of my individual scouting reports for the 2022 NBA Draft. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Ohio State's forward EJ Liddell. Uh, in the previous video, we took a look at uh, his teammate uh, Malachi Branham. Uh, so today we are going to be doing the other Ohio State uh, first round prospect. So without any further delay, let's get straight into the video. Moving on, we do have some stats to cover regarding EJ Liddell. Uh, first up, he is 21 years old. He stands at about six foot seven inches, weighs about 240 pounds, and has a seven foot wingspan to be exact. I've seen some sources say that he is uh, he has anywhere from you know six ten a six ten wingspan to a six eleven, uh, but uh, I've seen a lot more reports of him having a seven foot wingspan. And honestly, the eye test, uh, in my opinion, matches him having a, a seven foot wingspan. So I just Decided to go with a solid whole number, uh, rounded off with that seven foot wingspan, uh, which I believe he he very well does have. And overall, obviously these these physical measurements just tell you that he's grown, right? He's 21 years old. He is for sure grown. Very unique uh, physical physical makeup. Uh, you don't see a lot, uh, too many, you know. Uh, NBA caliber players, especially, you know, wings, you know, all of the wings that we have covered or that we are going to cover for the most part, spoiler alert, are very lanky, you know, six, seven, six, eight guys. Uh, EJ Liddell is really one of the only ones that is just swollen, carrying, carrying 240 pounds on him. You know, he weighs as much as, you know, uh, a lot of the centers in this class. Uh, so again, it's, 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 it's a very unique and, and, and very built grown physical profile for EJ Liddell. Uh, and moving on to his on-court stats, this is his junior year in college uh playing for ohio state uh in the big 10 where he has been their best player this season i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sugarcoat it as much as i love malachi brenham as an nba prospect ej liddell has by far been their best on court you know player uh for the buckeyes this season where he is averaging a, a very solid 19.6 points 7.9 rebounds 2.5 assists and 2.6 blocks per game really filling up the stat sheet which is what you like to see out of out of uh out of the best player on a ranked team especially in the big 10 right uh and the efficiency numbers are very solid as well has a 54.8 percent effective field goal percentage which is very solid uh and he's also shooting a a, a a solid uh decent uh percentage from the free throw line at six at 76.7 very solid overall uh free throw uh, percentage we will talk more about his free throws later on uh in the video uh he does also have a uh, three-point attempt rate of 29.8 uh, as i explained in all my videos basically three-point attempt rate is this the out of 100 shots you know uh this percentage he takes this percentage uh, of 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 his shots uh, from behind the arc so that essentially means that on damn near 30 percent of ej liddell's total shot shots are coming from behind the arc i would personally like to see be a little bit more but we'll talk more about that later on in the video and he also has a team high uh 30.6 percent usage rate i always like to include a, a, a player's usage rate just to give us a glimpse into how much that player is dominating the ball and and it, i think it puts some context into their stats as well so uh ej liddell does have a team leading 30.6 percent usage rate Moving on to some of EJ Liddell's strengths as a prospect. First up, I want to talk about his prowess as a shooter, specifically as a uh, spot-up shooter and also as a uh, pick-and-pop threat. First up, we can talk about the spot-up shooting, uh, where EJ Liddell's mechanics are very solid. You know, the eye test tells you that he's a very good shooter. Uh, you know, his mechanics are very solid. I think he has uh, a good extension on his guide hand as well as his shooting hand. The placement of both of those parts, both of those components of his jump shot are very, uh, very sound. Uh, you know, he's a very smooth shot, very good touch on his threes overall. Uh, and, you know, the, 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 the numbers back up the eye test that as he, as he is shooting 37% on nearly 80, uh, on, on, excuse me, he is shooting about 37% uh, from behind the arc with about 80% of his makes being assisted on. Uh, so that just shows you he's, he's a very solid, very sound spot up shooter. Uh, we'll talk more about his, the volume of threes that he is getting up later on in the video as i do think that is a it's not so much as a concern but a bit of a frustration for me uh so again we will talk about that later but overall he is a very very solid very smooth very gifted uh spot up shooter and as i just mentioned i think there is a lot of upside with ej liddell in terms of being a pick and pop uh shooting threat uh you know again just given how good of a shooter he is and 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 you know he's shown real upside this year uh with ohio state uh you know 
in terms of you know that that area of his of his game and I think that's that's a that's another wrinkle in his offensive repertoire that will just help him translate to the NBA game uh, a lot more efficiently and a lot more smoothly uh, and would just give just give him again just another 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 component in his game another wrinkle uh, for NBA coaches to use him as, as a versatile piece which he really is uh, overall and and you know another part of his repertoire is just his touch in the mid-range you know from that three to ten uh, area then from that three to ten you know, range on the court. He has, he loves his fadeaways. Uh, he's a very post dominant player, uh, likes to back a lot of players up, as you can see in this highlight right now, as he turns over his right shoulder, which he does like to do a lot. You know, that fadeaway is something that he can make very, uh, that, that he's very capable, that, excuse me, that he is very capable of making. And as you can see there, he does a pretty solid job of, of creating separation just because of how big he is, not necessarily how quick he is. And his quickness is something that we will talk about later on in the video. But overall, just a very strong player, as you can tell again, you know, with that, with that huge frame of physical profile that he has you know it allows him to to really create space and move people uh down low in the post in terms of you know when he's what he wants to to get his jump shot off uh and you know also that mid-range shot does play into his 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 um his, his, his uh, floaters, excuse me, he loves his hooks with his right hand, pretty much an exclusive right hand finisher, which is something, which is a concern, spoiler alert, that we will talk about later on in the video, but overall, just a very solid sound finisher, very soft touch around the rim, very soft touch overall, period, uh, EJ Liddell just, has just a very smooth stroke, very smooth uh, offensive player overall, and that right hand hook in the post is something that he really likes overall, that, that, just that right hand in general, uh, in terms of, you know, whether that be not only with hooks, but with floaters as well, I think he's shown, uh, you know, a, a, a I think he's shown that he's had a, that he has a very decent, very capable floater with that right hand, and it's something that he can rely on uh, in the future. And overall, just to finish her around the rim, he is very solid, uh, in my opinion. You know, the numbers, you know, do a pretty good job of backing it up. There is one part of 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 of. Um of his of his finishing around the rim that is a question that we will talk about later again you know just that left hand uh but overall just with his right hand again just given how strong he is uh i i i really like um ej liddell's uh as as a finisher uh around the rim uh not the best of vertical athletes as you just saw in 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 the highlights just a clip before uh this one but still you know it's 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 just given how big and strong he is and just how soft of a touch he has with that right hand you know i expect him to be a, a solid finisher uh at the end NBA level and another very very underrated part of EJ Liddell's game that I don't see talked about enough is his passing uh, and I'm not saying that he's you know some pick and roll wizard uh, as which he's not but overall just his playmaking is just very very polished very sound uh, and he's able to make quick reads especially f how you know uh, reads across the court uh, he's able to just deliver the ball super quick and that's something that I really like about his passing is not so much his vision which he does have a solid vision you know just given the the fact that he can see but it, it see across the court but i don't know if that's so much his vision because i'm sure a lot of other people can see those see those those passes as well but it's just about his delivery and his ability to get those passes across the court uh and just how how much how much pop he has on those passes, how quick he's able to make these full court passes uh which is something that again just another wrinkle in ej liddell's uh repertoire you know right we're talking about a six seven 240 wing 40 pound wing who has a smooth stroke uh has a smooth floater solid spot up shooter pick and pop threat and a guy who has who has um, um the ability to to make quick reads and deliver and has, has a very strong very quick delivery on his passes right that that's that's a very versatile and useful offensive piece at the next level right uh but moving on to his defensive strengths first up i want to talk about his weak side defense as i think he's a very alert weak side defender he always has his head on the head on a swivel and i think he does a really good job of splitting the court well uh especially when he's you know three or four passes away he does a great job of just staying in the middle he does a pretty all right job of just directing traffic but overall he's just a very sound individual weak side defender uh, which is something that you really like to see out of a junior right it's something that you'd expect a player uh that old to you know develop at you know you can look at you know the blake wesley's or the or or um who else is a is a is a is a or Ty Ty, even though Ty Ty Washington is 20, he still is a freshman, right? You know, players like that, you know, they, that they're freshmen, you know, you expect them to struggle in those types of areas. So seeing EJ Liddell um, um, be a sound weak side defender, maybe you're like, maybe that, maybe some people might say, well, he's he's a junior, right? He's 21 years old. You expect him to be good at those things. But, you know, it doesn't happen all the time, right? So, so you still like to, you still like to see that part of his game uh, be what it is, right? Uh, and, and, and again, I think he's, I think that definitely helps him uh, at the next level. 
and I think he's a decent point of attack defender, not the best, uh, something that, again, we will talk about later. Uh, I think he can be exploited in certain matchups, but still very, he does a solid job. Again, he's, he's not, he's not a, the quickest of guys, but he's still, you know, relatively quick for a guy who's 240 pounds, you know, given the fact that he is 6'7", and, and, and a very strong 6'7", at that, you know, those 240 pounds, it's not like it's, 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 you know, fat, it's, it's all muscle, it's all, it's all, you know, uh, it's all positive weight, right? So, uh, he's able to stay in front of, of, of a certain amount of guys and he's, he's he's decent laterally not the best but still i think he does a, a pretty adequate job i think he should be able to guard you know threes and some of the bigger fours uh, at the nba level i think some of the bigger slower threes but mainly mainly fours at the next level which isn't a bad thing but still uh and 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 overall i think he's a very solid weak side uh, rim protector as well you know he has a lot of these blocks where he kind of just comes out of nowhere and especially a lot of them in transition where he's just able to make plays on the ball again he's not the best vertical athlete in the world but his timing on the blocks he kind of gets above he kind of gets to the ball before it really has a chance to like you know really get all the way up there it's not like he's like lebron james like b pinning the ball you know against you know the, the top of the rim you know that's not ej liddell he doesn't have that kind of vertical pop he kind of likes to 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 block the shots right before they get right around right underneath the the, right underneath the rim uh which still you know you love to see that timing and 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 that feel for them for for getting to the ball that early right uh which is something that again i expect him to translate to the next level and you know you're taking a look at all these strengths you're taking a look at a very versatile two-way uh, uh, uh weapon uh, for whatever team does end up drafting uh ej liddell moving on to some of the concerns i have uh, with EJ Liddell, I don't have too many, uh, but I do feel that some of the ones that I do have are pretty prominent in terms of, you know, projecting, you know, his ceiling at the next level, uh, or rather limiting his ceiling at the next level. Uh, first up, I want to talk about just his handle. He doesn't really have that developed of a handle. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, but, you know, I mean, you guys are watching these clips now. It's not like EJ Liddell is going to be breaking anyone down. His handle, his handle is, is, is solid. You know, he's, he's not going to be doing too much. And you don't know, he doesn't have to, right? As I mentioned, you know, his mold of player doesn't really require him to be handling the ball all that much. Uh, and, you know, I'm... I'm Star, I don't expect EJ Liddell to turn into some star, right? So I'm not expecting him, you know, to be, you know, handling the ball too much. But still, I feel like it is something uh, to be uh, um, 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 discussed or mentioned since, you know, you would think, you know, uh, given the strengths that I did list out with EJ Liddell, right? He's a good shooter, uh, good passer. Right? You might expect a handle to come with that. No, it doesn't. EJ Liddell is more big than he is, you know, a guard despite being 6'7", right? You know, when you think of 6'7", you think of guys like... Uh, Jalen Brown, Kawhi Leonard, right? More ball handling, ball, more ball handling wings, and that's not that's not EJ Liddell. Uh, but and and that, that, there's perfectly that's that's fine, right? There's it's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's just a matter of just stating it, uh, and 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 so that you can set a clear expectation of the mold of player um, um, that EJ Liddell will be, you know, at the next level. Uh, and another weakness that I do have, uh, or another big part of his game that I do have questions with, is his finishing, specifically with his left hand. He does not. Finish you know, considering the guy is pretty limited in, in terms of a self-creator, especially from behind the arc, not necessarily in in the middle of the paint. But again, who's going to be giving EJ Liddell post touches uh, from day one at the NBA level, right? Nobody, right? So he he's going to have to be able to finish. With and I think his finishing numbers are solid, but I think they could be even better uh, if if he if he had a, a right hand that he could finish with, right? Uh, but it's excuse me, a left hand that he could finish with, and it's it's he's a good finisher but again he just relies so much on his right hand around the rim and just really overall uh not necessarily with his passes he can make you know all passes with his left hand it's just his finishing he just never uses his left hand like it doesn't matter where on the court he is and you know i feel like that's definitely something that he has to work on at the nba level because you know i in a previous video in my kennedy chandler video i kind of talked about how kennedy chandler needs to fine tune his left hand too because he is six foot he's going to need all the strengths that he can get at the nba level in order to in order to thrive and each of the delphi is not going to be a ball handler right he's not going to be that much he's not going to project as that much of a self-creator at the next level then you know his finishing needs to be on point his finishing needs to be on point right so i feel like that's something that he's definitely gonna have to work on um, um, um at the nba level and another weakness that i do have with him is just his on ball defense uh, again as i mentioned before it's just not all that laterally, laterally quick so against some of the better guards out there uh, 50 year guards you know they can kind of 
hit him with a move and they can kind of just leave him stuck for a minute. And I think he always does a great job of, 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 of at least attempting to get out there and contest the shot. But again, just because he's not all that laterally quick, uh, he, 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 he's just sometimes can't make it. He just sometimes can't get out on the ball quick enough to, to, to really, you know, contest the shot, uh, which again, it, it's not a bad thing. Uh, just considering how solid of, of, of a, of a weak side defender he is. But, you know, I think you would, you would expect to see EJ Liddell be a bit more prominent as, as a point of attack defender, considering the mold of player that he is, as I keep stating over and over. Uh, and he's also a solid, he's a decent post defender in terms of, you know, guarding forwards, but with some of the bigger bigs out there, I mean, at the end of the day, he's six, he's six, seven. So, I mean, it, it, when he's matched up against a six, 10, six, 11 plus player, there's just not much that they can do that he can do even with that seven foot wingspan, just because they're just so much taller than him that they could just rise up, rise up over him. Uh, so I feel like he's not being the best of point of attack defenders definitely hurts his stock. I feel like if he was a very, very effective, very sound, if he was a lot more laterally quick than he is, then yeah, I think his stock would be a lot higher than it is simply because you would have a, a, a versatile, effective uh, defensive piece that is also going to be an, 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 an efficient off-ball player at the NBA right uh but you know the 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 fact that he leaves some to be desired as a point of attack defender i think really lowers his draft stock uh and honestly with how slow he is and just with his 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 his, his, his style of play and how how slow he is laterally wise too it's just i don't I don't see it. I don't see. I, I. 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 I don't know how much he can improve on as an on-ball defender at the ME level, right? And you're we're we're living in an era, right? Where where, as of the as of the recording of this video, Jaden McDaniel's just got hurt. You know, we're living in the era of these tall, lanky wings that can cover the court at, and 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 guard multiple positions. And you know, EJ Liddell just isn't that, right? So I feel like that definitely is stuck a bit. And moving on to my last weakness, it, it's it's more so of a concern rather than like a weakness outright. He just is hesitant on to take some threes, and like I I, I don't understand it. I mean I I guess I kind of do, uh, just because you know I think he's more comfortable dominating around the uh, posting up and you know dominating in the paint. But still, you know he's a good shooter, and he, I don't think he takes nearly enough threes as he should, and he's passed up a, a, a good amount of open threes i remember specifically i went to go see him play uh against ruckers uh for my against ruckers when when they played i believe it was uh closer to close to a month ago now uh, it was right around on, on a saturday i believe or no it was during the week excuse me uh but he there were a number there was about two or three times i remember i wrote it down in my notes that he passes up open threes like i i don't understand like he's a good shooter i feel like Ohio State, they need to empower him as a three-point shooter. And, you know, I get that his, his Ohio State career is pretty much done. Uh, of threes, and I, I don't understand why. Like, I, again, I get the fact that he... He's a great three-point shooter, but I feel like he should be... So overall, EJ Liddell is a very, a very solid prospect, going to be a role player on the NBA level. Uh, again, just given his prowess, you know, in terms of he's a very versatile offensive piece, you know, as a shooter, uh, as a pick and pop option, spot up shooter to be exact, very solid passer as well, decent finisher. Uh, soft touch overall at, at, with floaters and 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 whatnot. Uh, depending on how the left hand turns out and given the fact that he's not a great vertical uh, uh, threat. Uh, I also expect him defensively to be a very protector as well. Uh, not the best of, of, of point of attack defenders, but still decent. Uh, so overall, I expect him from day one to be a guy who's going to clean it up and uh, make, some, make some good reads in terms of passing, keep the ball moving, be season be a very solid uh help side defender i expect more ready day one prospects in this draft but again i expect him to have one of the lower ceilings in this draft give it again you know some of the limitations in his game uh and 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 just to hide Uh, could I see him being taken at, at most, I would say maybe, you know, in the 20, in the early 20s, I feel like that's about the highest he can go, but I really do expect it to be an end of the first round type of talent. 
And that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about EJ Liddell in the comments. Do you guys think I'm a little bit too high on him? Do you guys think I'm too low on him? Uh, do you guys see him being a star? Do you guys see him being a bust? Let me know what you guys think about EJ Liddell uh, in the comments. Do you guys think about him and where he should go in the draft? And aside from that, that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, uh, please share my channel with a friend. I want to keep growing the channel, keep growing uh, what we got going on here. Uh, and, and we're kind of approaching the second round of, of prospects, but... Um, I do want to ask this if you guys are still, well, first off, thank you if you've, if you made it to the end of the video, but, uh, with the second round guys, I really want to get through a lot of them before the draft. So let me know what you guys think about, uh, uh in terms of, I've been debating, you know, kind of covering prospects, um, in bunches, um, instead of, you know, making one individual video for each prospect. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. If you guys would like that, or do you guys want to see me give, uh, um, some of these later second round prospects when we get to them, you know, they're each individual video, but you know, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments as well. But aside from that, you know, that's the end of the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please take care. Peace.